guys what's up this is Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create this really cool and interesting transition effect into After Effects. Now this transition is absolutely custom made and it is pretty easy. It may look complex and you know pretty tough to make but it is absolutely simple and I'm going to try to explain it in the simplest way I can. So let's just get started with this effect and I'll show you how to create this one. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to create a new comp and I'm going to keep it 1920 into 1080 and I'll name this tutorial. Okay, then I'm going to create one more comp and this time I'm going to set the width to 120 pixels and the height to 120 pixels as well. Okay, now I'm going to right click and create a new solid and I'll just call the 01. You can name whatever you want actually. Then I'm going to add a fill to it so that I can change the color pretty easily and I have a good control over it. So this is going to be a base color. Then I'm going to duplicate this three times. Make sure we have four copies now. You can have number of copies you want but I'm going to keep it at four. Okay so I'm going to select the second comp or the second layer and I'm going to change the color to something like this. And this color I'll put it to something like an orange. And the last one I'm going to create something like a darker, like a darker purple. Okay. Then I'm going to select all the layers, go to about one second, and hit P to bring down the position properties, and hit on the stopwatch. Then I'm going to go all the way to the beginning of the timeline, select the first layer. Hold shift to be accurate and just drag this out just like this. Then I'm going to drag this layer out as well. And then the third layer. And finally the fourth layer. So now we should have something like this and this looks pretty cool. I'm just going to select all the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Then I'm going to go to graph editor and create kind of a peak to give a little bit of motion to it so that it looks a little bit interesting than being pretty lame. Okay, so we are good with this. Then I'm going to select all the layers and pre-compose this and call this the master box. You can name whatever you want. I'm actually very bad at naming things. Sorry for that. You can just ignore that. Okay, so we should have something like this. Now I'm going to go back to the tutorial comp that we previously created and bring down our master box into that. Okay, so here we have it. Then, as you know, our comp is 1920 to 1080, so I'm going to create 16 copies horizontally. So I'm going to just go and duplicate this by hitting Ctrl D and make sure you have 16 copies. Okay. Then I'm going to select the first comp and where it says, I don't know what it says actually, it says horizontal left alignment, just click on it and we should have a box something like placement at the left of our left side of our comp. Then select the end box or the end layer or the end comp whatever you can say and just stick this out to the right side just by hitting on this right horizontal alignment. Then select all the boxes and just make sure you click on this horizontal center distribution. So we should have something like this and it looks pretty awesome actually. Okay, so we are good to go with this. Then I'm going to select all the master boxes and pre-compose this again and I'll name this let's say vertical line. Okay. And just open this up. Then I'm going to go to vertical line comp settings and bring down the height to 120 pixels. So we should have kind of this comp. Okay. Then I'm going to duplicate this vertical line to at least 9 copies by hitting Ctrl D again. Then I'm going to again select the first comp and bring this up something like there. And the last comp and bring this down. 
then I'm going to select all the layers and just align it that it fills up the comb so we should have this kind of really interesting looking transition and it looks pretty cool now to make it look more you know more complex and more detailed what we can actually do is if I go back to my vertical line arrangement I'm going to create kind of a pattern in this and I'm going to display every comb by two frames so to do that what we can actually do is I'm going to select the seventh and the tenth comb by hitting control just hold control to select both the comb and displace them by two frames then I'm going to select the sixth and the 11th comp or the 10th comp this displays oh my gosh I'm gonna select the 6th and the 11th comp and just displace this and just dis go on displacing every comp by two frames you know you will get this kind of a pattern in it there we go so we should have something like this okay now I'm gonna go back to my tutorial comp and we should have kind of this looking effect and it actually looks pretty good now to make it look more cool what we can do is we, we are gonna do the same thing with this comps the vertical lines comps so I'm gonna select the fourth and the sixth comp and just zoom in a little bit there we go and just display this by two frames and create the same kind of pattern that we just created okay and bam there we go now we can get this really cool and interesting looking animated transition effect as you can see and this effect can be actually used as a track mat for text as well so for to do that what we can actually do is I'm gonna pre-compose this thing just to give you an example I'll just name keep it at pre-compose one okay and I'm going to type in something like let's say motion graphics okay just bring this thing in the center and just I'm going to scale this down to somewhere around there and then I'm going to change the track mat to luma mat and we should get something like this and you can see it looks absolutely stunning and pretty impressive I just change it you can also you know go and change some cool bold fonts and there we go it really looks pretty cool and as you can see it looks really interesting you can see we get some cutting edges right over there so you can just scale this up and there we go this effect can be very very helpful for motion graphic designers it can be a lifesaver sometimes you know when we run out of some ideas for backgrounds or transition you can create this kind of transition with circles you know with any shape that you can think of and any style which you can think of this is the end of the tutorial and I hope you have learned something new today and if you have don't forget to subscribe comment and like and I'll see you in my next video till then take care thanks for watching guys Sunset high and I'm putting low Blood rush in the haze and glow My hands look cold